ladies and gentlemen, my daughter's sleeping, which means it's time for a video. Today, we're doing a video on this, an electricity detector. With this, I can tell if there is electricity or not in a wire, in a wall. Now what you should know is that this is a really cheap $3 version that came directly from China with free shipping. If this is a real fluke version, I would be able to press a button, except that button turns on a light, and do this, and it would tell me there's energy going through it, because there is energy going through this. It would tell you if there's energy going through that, but the thing is, it doesn't tend to. But what you can do, is nope aha uh -huh. yes that's what the only thing is good for seeing if there's energy in a particular socket but man i gotta tell you you gotta get right up close for this thing. i wonder if it works in noses what do you say jen you want to try put it in your no. nose right hand i don't think it works for that have you seen any keepers in oh my god she's breastfeeding can you believe that that's disgusting how could anyone do anything like that here already put this in your nose put it put it in your nose no it's not working there's not enough electric oh i got to work over here not that side oh yeah that's the side with the power that's what i'm talking about i hear that this light at the end works works against ghosts but i haven't verified that yet so let's break her down and have a look in the fan room. That's right, in my basement. The cat decided to take a big dump behind the furnace, and because of that, I have to clean it up. Or at least I had to, and I got the fans going. Okay, now how do I open this again? Um, yeah, so, yeah, there we go. So to remove the batteries, press the back, and there you go, Bobby. There you go, now there, then you go, you know. And... Pretty sure it just slides out once. Yeah, so it just slides out, and interestingly enough, all it is is a capacitor at the end. The bit of wire. Oh, I'm sure there's more to it than that. Let's have a look here. So I know everything about everything all the time. So everything that I say is going to be absolutely correct about this. This is the flux capacitor. That big chip right there is the flux capacitor. And those are itty bitty capacitors. So seriously though, that'll be a, a, a chip that'll have most of the uh, instructions on it. ROM, that'll be where the battery hits. Interesting uh, little buttons, I've seen those attached just by a piece of scotch tape. Seriously though pretty neat. Alright, so check this out. Looks like it works. You gotta get the powerful end though. With the, the end with power going through it. So, in the end, really cool. Very cool thing for three dollars. Would I buy it again? I don't know. I think it's, it's worth three dollars, but then you might actually think it's something that you can use in order to help you day to day but I would uh, I would never tell someone they should use this because when it's being used it's like a life or death thing you don't want to be messing around with power too much and if you do it's just man the price just ain't worth losing your life I hear a good one's 30 bucks I hear a good fluke or sorry fluke one is worth 30 bucks but I have a hard time believing that because I don't think that fluke sells anything for 30 bucks now of course the, the best way to tell, uh, the best way to get a correct answer to something is say the incorrect answer. And uh, if someone out there knows something from Fluke, that's worth it. anything. It's for less than 30 bucks, let me know. Because it definitely seems like a rich man's game. Anyways, time to wake my daughter. Hey you. Hey, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. It's alive. 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 Wake up. Odie, come here. Come here. Stomp on her. Give her kisses. One or the other. There you go. That works out.